thanks for watching. My name's Jason. Uh, this is my first double bass, and I'm going to do a very, very quick, brief review of what it's like to own a double bass. First of all, I've had this since Sunday. It's Wednesday now, so I've had it three days. Um, so I'm going to do very, very quickly about what the differences are. I'm used to playing electric bass. I'm used to playing electric guitar and acoustic guitar. I can play the piano, saxophone, sing once upon a time as well. Um, but not a double bass. This is the first double bass I've owned and it's a Stentor. So it's a Stentor or Stentor 1950 Student 1 bass. There's a Student 2 as well which is more expensive. This is the Student 1. So you probably know that if you've clicked on this anyway that this is what you're looking at. It's a Stentor Student 1 1950. Uh, the 1950 is nothing to do with the age of it or when it was made or anything like that. As far as I'm aware it's just a model number. Okay. So I'll go around the, the bass very, very quickly. Um, first thing to say about it is it's the cost around a thousand pounds. So this isn't a very, very expensive bass, neither is it a really cheap bass. You can get basses for about half the price of this. Um, but they tend to be bits of plywood and um, cardboard held together with gaffer tape. So they're not great. I looked on all the forums and all the online stuff for reviews of different basses for a beginner. And this is the one that kind of came up more often than not, really, praising it pretty highly. I would guess that a more ex uh, experienced player would find lots of things wrong with it. They would say that it would fall apart, or maybe the bridge isn't right, or you know, the nut at the top, you know, that needs adjusting. I don't know. I'm no expert in playing double basses, so I don't know what, what isn't good about it. What I know is from a complete beginner's point of view, moving from a guitar and a, a bass guitar to a double bass it's it's quite a challenge for a start we've got the, the sheer width of the thing and the size of it um, the other thing is kind of up the top the actions in, incredibly high and you have to you know play like this so you yeah so it's it's really hard it's really challenging I've uh, only been playing it three days and the ends of my fingers are all a little bit bruised. Um, I guess I'll, I'll get used to it, but compared to a guitar, you've, you've really got to put a lot more effort, a lot more power into holding the double bass. Um, the neck's huge compared to a bass guitar, as you'd imagine, absolutely huge. And then the other things are the stretch you've got to do to play notes. So that's a G, hopefully, ish. And G to an A is the full stretch of my fingers, so all the way to there. On the guitar, it would be it would be that, but on the double bass, it's that. Even the bass guitar, you can still play it with your ring finger. You don't really use your ring finger at all when you're playing down the bottom of the neck. Um, it's it's these three fingers, and that's semitones. So so that's a G, kind of. And that's an A. So you get a bit of an idea of the, of the stretch. A flat, G, F sharp, E. Um, so yeah, it's, it's difficult, it's hard to play. The other thing which is an obvious thing to say really, there's no frets, there's no markers, there's no landmarks basically. I'm kind of using this where the, the, the colour changes from the lighter colour there to the sort of the, the tone of the, the body of the bass. And I'm using that and I know that around here So around there that's a F sharp. And then an octave, it's kind of the same as it would be on a guitar, so. Not great, the intonation's hard to do as well. So all in all, it's a great bass. I'd recommend that if you are gonna get a, a beginner's bass, this would be one, one of the ones you would definitely consider. Like I say, it's about a thousand pound, and that's pretty much the same online everywhere. As far as I'm aware, it's a spruce top, and a composite body, um, and it, it feels nice. It plays plays well. I mean, it's a solid 
massive piece of furniture. You know, it, it's it's huge. It's even on not the fully lowest setting, but it's nearly lowest setting. I'd say that the top of it is a good six foot two high. The idea is, again, I've, I've looked at lessons online, and the idea is that you have your finger where your eye line is on the first position. So that's kind of kind of where I am. Maybe just a bit high, but that's kind of where I am. Um, so yeah, hope you like this review. What I'm going to do is um, I'll continue to play bits and video it and post them online, and hopefully people can see my progression and also pick up their own, their own tips and things as we're going along. Um, already, I've given you the one about using different you know, kind of landmarks, I suppose, to, to know where to put your fingers to make sure the intonation's right. And also, um, you know, beware that your fingers are going to get are going to get bruised uh, until they toughen up. So I hope this is okay. I'm Jason. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. See you next time.